There we go. All right. I think you're a bass. All right. Oh, you get in weeds? Get out of the weeds. Come on. Yeah, you're a bass. Nice. Let's go. Nice. All right. Can I lip you without uh, getting myself? Yeah, I can. Nice. Look at that. We are using a hula popper today, surface lure today, but honestly, I want to try and catch a bowfin this way. Not necessarily bass. Now, this is awesome because it's just always awesome to catch fish on top water. It's never not awesome to catch them like this. But, <laughs> but that's what we're doing. Yeah, we're top water fishing in hopes of catching a bowfin. Put you in here, get some water. There you go. All right, what do you think, 16? What do you think? Yeah. 16. 16 and a half. Heck yeah, man. Look at that. <laughs> this is a good morning, baby. Yeah, we got our first topwater bass. And we're gonna let him go. Here's the setup, people. We're using a hula popper today. I've got real thick fluorocarbon on here. I don't know, 25, 30, 40, I don't even know. But I'm using my PC Fun Carbon X3000. I believe this is 15 pound braid. Got an ugly stick carbon, medium action. I saw online someone catch bowfin on surface lures, a popper. And I thought, I would love to catch a bowfin in the swamp lake because they're in here. I've seen them. Never caught one in here. There we go. It's so weedy. Gotta keep these up. They get in the weeds. It's bad. Dude, they're a good bass. Holy cow. Stay up. Oh, wow. You're a good bass. Come here. Come here. Nice. Wow. You're a good bass. Dude, you're a chunk. Wow. Wow. I got you. Nice. Heck yeah. Dude, that's nice. Uh, what do you think? Like 17 or something? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> well, we don't get to know. It's shallow in here. This is the place to be. There we go. That's not a dolphin, though. A bath? Hi, buddy. Ugh. See if I can get a lip on you. Yeah. There it is. Hula popping in the morning. Heck. Yeah. There we go. There he is, little guy. Get him. Ah, a little bass. I got him. Nice. Heck yeah, man. Oh, you got the business. Let's get you off quick. You got it. There's one. You stay out. There. Nice. Heck yeah. All right, you're little, but manageable. 
So that means I can do slow-mo. Yeah, slow-mo. Yeah, slow-mo. All right. There we go. What do we got? Oh, you stab it. Oh, I got a large mouth. Oh, a good one. Nice. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Get in there, yes. Oh, big one. Nice. Heck yeah. Let's go. Hey, hey. Wow, this is a good one. Heck yeah. Ah, oh, yes. There, nice. There we go, look at this guy. This is the biggest one of the day. Nice, look at that guy. Dude, that's a good one. What do you think, 18? 18, 18, baby. <laughs> oh, I don't even think I recorded it like that. God, I'm brutal. <laughs> that serves me right. This fish is too big for slow-mo. Look, there's a turkey, but... You can see him. There's the turkey babies. They just have to hatch. They're so tiny. Thank you, baby. We're gonna go to the next plan, which is I'm going to try and catch a panfish, bluegill, or pumpkin sea. Her perch would be fine too. And cut it up. Oh, there we go. We're on. And he seems little. Oh, perfect. Pumpkin seed. Alright. Oh, jeez. A little. You're perfect. You're going to be my cut bait. This next part of the video is for mature audiences only. So, I'm going to not show that. I'm going to cut that guy up. I'm going to go to that dock over there. So, here's what I brought to use with this. I got a couple bobbers and a couple of uh, hooks. First one I've got right here is a circle hook on a wire leader now these fish both in are you know they have sharp teeth so that's why the wire leader i'm gonna keep it shallow so i'm gonna put this on like right at the end of this leader when i use cut bait i only have skin on one side I want that scent to really get out there. Let's fire it out there. I got rod holders in the kayak. So that helps. Nice. All right. We got another rod to set up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you kidding me? Dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I just cast it out. I didn't even see it go. It's on. Oh no. It's off. Shoot. That was crazy. Is that a turtle right away? I didn't even. Oh, and it took the bait too. What the heck? Dude, that was like a second. Holy. Oh, well, all right. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother.
There it went. There it went. Did you see that? Take it way out. Take it way out. Yeah, take it way out. Okay. Tighten down. Let's feel. Do you think I can? Oh, there's a dogfish through here. Tighten up real much and then pull up. There's the bobber. Yep. Did we get it? Did we get it? Yes, we did! Yes, we did! Yes! Let's go all oh, hooked perfectly, too. You know it! It worked! It worked! These have like a real bony head, so they're hard to get to stay on the hook. Look at this guy. So cool. All right, let's get you some water. And then I'm going to get some film of this. Look at that. Let's let you go, buddy. Let's let you go. Back to your home in the old swamp. Oh, that's so cool. We did it, baby. We did it. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get in the kayak and go out there and just float around and see if we could catch some more. That was awesome. Nice. Are you gonna just oh <laughs> nice <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Uh, uh. All right. <laughs> well, this is not top water. This is not a piece of cut bait. I just wanted to catch one more fish before I left, and I was getting windy, as you can see, so that's not good for top water. And it was just making me float around, so I couldn't control myself. But you gotta end on a fish, you know? So yeah, I got out a Texas rig and we're gonna end with a bass. All right, thanks for watching. Push good buttons. We got a bullfin on the swap plate, baby!